Okay, what's going on, YouTube nights? Wait. Son of a bitch. Okay, now. <laughs> Shit. Um, okay, yeah. Already familiar with Undertale. We'd like to check out Undertale first. I've already played Undertale. You're well aware if you're seeing this on this channel, probably. Yeah, I'd like to start from chapter one, because we haven't I haven't even played that fully through the end. And yes, I'm playing this on the Nintendo Switch. So, yeah. Um, all I made it to, I did try this on PC when it first uh, was added. Oh, look, a heart. Um, but when I first tried it on PC, I only made it to like the first shopkeeper in Chapter 1, and then I stopped playing. Because, um, much like Undertale, at first, I didn't like any of the characters. <laughs> Like, it grew on me after I saw more of it, but first impressions were not either game's strong suit. I eventually grew to love Undertale. Like, don't get me wrong, once I got to Papyrus, I fell in love with the game. Oh, look, Mode 7! You must create a vessel. I know that's a lie. I'm not creating a vessel. You prefer. I mean, inevitably, this is just going to be tossed out. Here's the funny thing. I know this ultimately doesn't matter. I feel like the choices here will matter at the end of the game. Like, only at the end of the game is this going to matter at all. I wish they had an open hoodie as, like, the thing. I feel like, like, why do we even program these choices? I feel like they're only going to do something with this in, like, the final chapter. Like, Chris becomes separate from you if you went a certain route. And now you have to stop Chris, who's going out of control, like how Spamton and Jevil are. And then what you'll have to do is, like, you'll have to use the vessel that you created in, uh, before you start. Um, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. So, I feel like they're gonna do something like that. I don't know, though! This could all just be for nothing, because Toby likes to do a bunch of useless shit. Remember the snail race? That was completely pointless. It had no purpose to anything, so they might do that. Uh, sweet is my favorite food, actually. Your favorite blood type. See, this... This doesn't... What?! Also, D? I'm like... I don't know if there's a D... Is there a D blood type? Is there a C? I'm gonna go with D. I don't know if that's a real blood type, but sure. What color? Um, cyan, because there's no purple. A gift. Um... Okay, so funny thing is... In terms of, uh... I'm trying to think of, like what, uh, things of that. I'm gonna go with mind. Why not? Now, do you feel about, what do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. Have you answered honestly? Yeah, sure, why not? You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. What? Okay. Name your vessel. Des. I always go either Des or Desmar for things. I don't I don't know why. And what about the creator? My own name. I'm going to go <laughs> I'll just put in Nobop. You know. Yes, that's me. Excellent. What if I put in Vessel Chris? Because I notice you can't actually put Chris's head or actual clothing design. You have to, like, pick something different. It would be neat if they gave you the option for those and you just chose everything that actually is Chris. That would be really neat. Your wonderful creation will now be discarded. Yep. No one can choose who they are in this world. A sad fact. Your name is... 
Well, thanks for making me waste about five minutes, Toby. Chris, Chris, if you don't wake up, you'll be late for school. Well, thanks for making me waste five minutes on this, Toby. Also, for fuck's sake, just look at this, uh, this room. Look at all of Asriel's stuff. The photo of the flower, all these trophies. Except for a school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. Guy was an Guy did athlete stuff, CDs, classical jazz. Wait, religious? Religious ska? That's weird. Game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, big bro, Azzy. You're making me play the fucking... with a knockoff controller? I just know you were making me do that, you piece of shit. Even though it's not me. You're, I know you're making Chris play with the knockoff controller, you son of a bitch. Theater desk, there are many boxes under it, filled with old books. Okay? It's a birdcage. It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Why does this exist? Your bed. Clothes drawer. Alright, Chris, let's go. Doo -doo -doo. Is that a cactus? There's not much to say about it. Yeah, figured as much. Crayons in the drawer. Their labels have been faded and there's no green. It's only you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to stay that way. Chris, I, I want you to be free of my influence at some point. Uh, only if it's not at a cost to everyone in this world. I will still work with you, man. I will absolutely. Inside the sink cupboard, there's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys. Flaming hot pizza flavor. Seems to be almost entirely full. So no one's used that. Good. Flush it. Yes! You flushed the <laughs> Okay, let's do it again! Yes, Chris! We must flush the toilet! I am a being of chaos, Chris! You do not want me to be in control of your actions. I mean, I'm not chaotic enough to make you do the, the snow grave route, don't worry. We won't be doing that. Spoilers. Chris, is everything alright in there? <laughs> Chris is just... I like how Chris automatically turns away once I flush the toilet, like, looking at the screen, like, what? You flush the toilet. Really? What the fuck is this for? <laughs> Like so, oh, Chris is so pissed at me. I'm sorry. Like, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo and a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. Okay, that's cute though. Ironically, what you didn't know is that the gallon sized pet container, uh, container of pet shampoo is for Chris. Chris just really likes the set of scent of pet shampoo. Okay, I'm spreading lies again. I'm sorry, Chris. Again, you don't want me to be in control of your actions. You must break free. This is our goal. Doesn't even seem to be plugged in. It's cherry. Oh, the beloved living room chair. That's fucking funny. Oh, okay. It's a book of hymns. Okay. And clearly there's some religious stuff with this family. That's already a bad sign. There's some gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's a nice little border around this. Oh, that's really cool. I don't remember that on the PC one when I played it. Again, I played it like the day it came out then, so like... Wait, when Asriel visits next week. Okay, so question. Because um, each chapter has been each day so far, and supposedly, from what we saw, there's going to be like seven chapters, I believe? Which is a week, which means Azrael will likely only come by at the end of the entire game before I Hey, Undyne. Hi, Officer Undyne. But, oh, the library! Oh, once again. Oh, Chris looks so embarrassed. Oh, don't worry, buddy. We'll get through this, man. We'll get through this, Chris. Just give your mama a hug, okay? I know you didn't hug her back, Chris. That's not cool. Your mom's nice. I know you're not happy about the divorce, but still. A divorce isn't easy, but come on. Don't don't be so cruel. 
Okay, I'm not gonna ask you, Birdly. You can go fuck yourself. Elfish. <laughs> I won. It's schoolwork, of course. Uh, animated schoolwork, and you're watching anime on your phone. It, be it better not be porn. A bunch of roses. Peter's wallpaper is a rotating slideshow of nature images, and rarely an image of two buff superheroes embracing and blushing. <sighs> I'm gonna move on. You check the time. It seems to be a time for glass. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Hey, what's up? Chris! You know, Jock and Did and Cat are always partners with the ultimate Abdi Demon Duo. If you used it instead, that's an awkward just sorry, uh huh. Click, click, tap, tap, taken. Okay, well, fine. Fuck you too, then. What about you? Chris! I was very sorry. Tim, I already had a partner! Huh. It's a black and white hard boiled egg. Sadly, it seems like it already has a partner. Why doesn't anyone love me? Chris, why doesn't anyone love you? What have you done? Turning me as a howdy partner like a cowboy. Wait, who does what now? Miss. Alright, eh? I hardly know her! Okay, Chris, you may not like this guy, because you seem like the kind of person who would be annoyed by this. You seem a lot more snarky and uh, dead inside than I am. But, uh, I like this guy. I don't know, I always feel like Chris would probably be snarky and dead inside. Like, everything they would say would be something, would be some snide comment. If they were to say, say anything. And then I'm the guy who just, like, would give those same comments, but genuinely loves a lot of this shit. Hey Chris, what's that? Did you lose your pencil again? Okay. Want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Ooh, the one with lights on it, please! I'm um, sorry, Beard Birdly already asked me. Yes, ask. I, uh, I, I don't want to work with Birdly. But no, I do not approve of this. Abort. What? But Chris doesn't have a... Oh, what are you saying? I'm saying we're fine. Actually, I just wanted to know if... No, oh, could you please speak up? Oh! <laughs> Sup, Suze? Alright. Uh, no, you're fine. We're just uh, choosing partners for the next group project. And, uh... Alphys, what the fuck? You're the teacher! <laughs> Great. Well... Can I just, uh, can I return to my desk? Also, there seem to be no chairs in this classroom. Start class without some chalk. Yeah, I get it, Alphys, but, uh... How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Yeah, that, that doesn't... Uh, anyone, please? I need some a box in the supply closet. These, why don't Susie and I... Good idea, Noel. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. You know, Susie, it's not polite to slam doors. Can you go with her and make sure she um actually gets it and stays out of trouble? Ah, why am I always the one to do things? Well, Chris, here's here's comes the start of our adventure. I hope you're happy being slammed against the locker door. What? Just like Chris, if if Chris could hear me, it would just be like a, what? Chris, didn't see you there. Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? Not really. I, not, nothing I care about. Hmm, you can't even say. No, I, I, Susie, do you really think I give a shit? Come on, Chris has better things to worry about. Like, you know, not getting killed. Mm. Hey. Mm. Let me tell you a secret. Mm. Wow, Chris, you really need to start standing up for yourself. Mm. It's just because you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over, I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance, now she'll finally be expelled. I was never thinking any such thing. Chris might! Don't, don't be alarmed. Don't be fooled. Chris might very well be thinking that. I wasn't, because I know I don't have a say in this. Just, uh, let me say one little thing. It seems like a waste to get everyone to, to get expelled for just having a snack, so, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger, <laughs> why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel about losing your face? 
Chris doesn't have a face. Chris doesn't have a face. It's all hair. He's got the he's got the hentai pro tag look going on. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Oh, like an Undertale. Oh, like in the alternate reality where she buried two children. Uh, how does that sound? It really doesn't matter. You don't you don't let me decide. Your choices don't matter. You're right. Chris's choices really don't matter. In fact, in chapter two, I'll get more of a say in things than they do. Well, I'm gonna leave. Bye. <laughs> So you just gonna skip school? What am I supposed to snitch on you? That'd be rich, huh? Nah, I wouldn't. Get back here. Chris, if you skip school, your mom will have a heart attack. Okay, you're just gonna repeat that. Beg for the water fountain. <laughs> People put their mouth on that, you know. That was an encouragement, dumbass! Oh, God, I love that. Uh, realize the baby classroom was a better fit for you? I, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. Wrong way, Chris. Wrong way, Chris. No, I want to go this way. All right, fine, let's go. Enough dicking around. God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. Yeah, maybe. Come on, freak. Hey, not cool. Just because Chris looks incredibly weird and has red eyes... Yeah, okay, they might be a little f bit of a freak. Anyway, uh, just starting to have fun. Door open. Oh. Well, that was convenient. <laughs> they both just like, oh shit, uh, what's with the spookiness? Is it me, or is it really dark in there? Oh, yeah. What's the hold up, Chris? Aren't you gonna go in, or what? Aren't you? <laughs> Chris is like, uh-uh. Fine. If you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... Call somebody to turn on the lights for us. We'll both go in at the same time. Oh, you're just as afraid as I, I as Chris is. See, why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. All right, well, see ya. Chris, if you leave me here, I'll... You'll do what? You, what would you do, exactly? That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. This is a deep closet. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? Yeah, that's that, my sentimonies exactly. You think we'd have reached the end by now? Yeah, I would think that. Hey, Chris, I think the closet's uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Yeah, I don't think that means it's broken. I think we've entered a portal to another dimension. So, let's split. Yeah, that's a smart plan. Oh, crap. Uh, what the... Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us. Uh oh. The floor, it's. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, look at Chris just fall. Just like plank on the way down. Just like, not even a reaction. Jeez, Chris. You're like a fucking corpse when I'm not in control. You, put, you might actually very well be a corpse when I'm not in control. You seem to be quite lifeless without me. You need me, Chris. I'll be the little devil on your shoulder. Actually, you probably don't need that. You're probably enough of a little devil yourself. Second day two, you reach out and... Well, I got a save. Sorry, Chris, I'm erasing your save. Bye. Look. Chris, I'm sorry, but whoever said you were the one in control? <laughs> oh, God, that's evil. Oh, cool, I can run. I can't seem to make myself auto-run, so I gotta hold down the B button. Fine by me? Oh, speaking of which, um, I'm actually using a good controller for this. I'm using uh, the retro uh, controller I use uh, for most things that have a retro style to them. Which is, um, my, uh, not, by the way, not sponsored. Wish I was my 8 2 SN30 Pro. If I ever got sponsored, I would fucking hawk these controllers in a second. They're amazing. Hang on. Which, which way am I supposed to go? I want to go the opposite. Glowing inside. Take it? Yeah. Oh, cool, the glow shard. 
I don't know what it does, but cool. I don't know what it does, but I feel like it might be important later. Oh god! No! No! They tried to kill me, senor. Body in the light. Power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. I, I just played a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3. Please, and I tr and I just got really pissed at the fucking uh, data fights in Remind. So please don't tell me about light and darkness. I really would like to forget that right now. Okay, cool, let's go. Um. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> Neat. The hell? Well, that was cool, but also disturbing. Anyway, what is this? Oh. Oh. What the fuck? I swear I just saw something there. Oh, I am seeing a fucking shadow. It's Susie. Hey, back off. Come any closer and I'll... Chris? Whew. Hey, what? Don't scare me like that, dumbass. And why are you blue? Unless you want to get clocked in the face. I mean, would it really hurt them? I'm pretty sure the soul, aka me, is the only thing that can get hurt in this scenario. I'm not 100% sure Chris can get hurt directly by physical damage. I mean, they just survived whatever fate fall that was with no injury. Uh, where is here, anyway? Yeah, that's a good question. Doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out. Okay. Cool. Huff, huff. What, you want to make it a race? Yeah, a little bit. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Um, the easiest way would be to steal the eastern fo- seal the eastern fountain. Fountain? You mean uh, like the water bubbler or something? The f- the fountain that which gives the dark world form. Um, are you sure you actually know the legend? Look. No. But I think I've got enough info. See you two later. Wait, Susie, wait. At least let me come with you. Oh! <laughs> there he is, complete with the explosion that was meant to be in part of uh, Undertale's joke hard mode. Actually, no joke. Toby, actually, I believe he mentioned that on Twitter. He intended for, uh, originally it was going to be in Undertale's, like, joke hard mode. Um, Toriel was gonna, like, fucking like, uh, suplex or rolling a Zuna drop on you or something, and it was going to do that explosion effect. And then you get, like, the credits. <laughs> that was what it was going to be, apparently. One nerd down, two to go. My dad's gonna make you son of... Make me son of the month! Does he have another son? Who the hell are you? I'm... He's <laughs> two-dimensional! The bad guy! Bad guy. You know, teardrop-headed kid. From the legend? Uh, we didn't listen to the legend. No. Oh boy, this is gonna be hard to explain. Um, I could help explain it. Stay out of this, kind boy. No, I'll protect the. No, I'll protect the heroes with my life. Actually, can you hold off? I want to hear this bit. Okay, so long story short, you guys are heroes. Long story short, you guys are heroes. You want to go east and see all our fountain? Gotta stop the darkness from covering the world. Uh, we, on the other hand, don't want that because it would rule and be great. Wait, why do we want to stop that? Uh, I don't know. I guess I could go ask my dad. I can tell you, <laughs> we got this, okay, cloaked figure. Chill. So the point is. Wait, oh sorry. So the point is, you want to fight us. Correctamundo! Alright, kid. Now you're telling me something I understand. Let's go, Susie! Let's kick his ass! I'm gonna give him a warning. Watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. Oh, clowns. Oh, fuck. I gave him a warning. Haha! <laughs> I don't know how I got an axe, but like, that's cool. Also, I don't know why your outfit looks so fucking JoJo-y. It really does, though, doesn't it? Damn it. Up to you. Damn it. Time to kill. So what do you guys say? Oh god, I didn't pay attention. Fuck! tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. Flattery will get you heavy. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. Alright, you punkaroos. You had the luck of the draw this time. But next time, the losers will be you. <laughs> Bye, losers. Gotta get home before dinner. Yay! Are you two okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jeez, can you take off the hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, uh, alright. Fluffy boy! Hello everyone, I'm Rousey. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends and... Yeah, friendship isn't really her cup of tea. Best way to leave is east, right? Yes, that's where we'll... Got it. See you at school, Chris. Wait, Susie, what the hell? Come on, you're really... Oh, you so you're that D&D player, huh? Chris, I'm a prince, but... Um, currently don't have any subjects. Yeah, you're not a prince. I've been waiting alone here, and um, my whole life to give... To arrive, so... I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Let's try to find Susie. She must be... Okay. Well, I, I guess I don't have a choice. Oh, look. I don't have a choice. I'm stuck with Fluffy Boy. Well, at least he'll be a good healer. I hope you should know... 
<laughs> Fluffy boy! Wait! <laughs> Lily Prince is not your ally! The power of Fluffy Boy shines within you! Yes! Oh, that's perfect. And I think that is a perfect place to end this episode. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. The power of Fluffy Boys is now within me, and that's a perfect point to end this episode on. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. If you want to see more of my videos and stay up to date, you can join the Council of 2000 and subscribe today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see all you guys in my next video. Bye bye